so when i started preparation in january i decided that for the next 5 6 months i'll be going through concept lectures and for those 5 6 months i only went through concept lectures and solved the questions i started solving sudoku and uh, i okay. was i could see an improvement through these months that i i'm now able to solve uh, uh, at least two to three sets for varc uh, so i watched a video by sailee ma'am and she said that she gave one tip which i still use today hello everyone today we have with us pranjal gole he has scored 99.48 percentile in cat 2021 and uh, that's a, a very good improvement from his past score of 70 percentile and and also he has uh, got a very good score in vrc he scored 99.71 percentile from 50 percentile last year right around 50 yeah, percentile yeah. yeah in the previous attempt that's yeah, right okay. he has also uh, he is an engineer he graduated in 2017 from iit kanpur and he has been working he is a working professional he has been working for the past 4 years and today he is with us to share his journey cat preparation journey how he prepared and many more uh, valuable insights so hi pranjal uh, thanks a lot for joining us yeah, hi yeah thanks for <laughs> yeah first of all a big congratulations on scoring 99.48 percentile in cat 2021 So, firstly, can you uh, walk us through your CAT journey, CAT preparation journey? When it all started, uh, have you started preparing for CAT? All that. Uh, so, I had my first attempt in CAT 2020, and uh, that okay. was after I realized that uh, even though I'm in a management job, I do not have the formal education to be in the business part of management, and so I decided to go for CAT. And I think it's very good for a management professional to go through MBA for having a good career trajectory. Uh, so I attempted CAT 2020 with minimal to no preparation. Uh, I gave some mocks through uh, the books I have, but uh, it didn't turn out very well. I scored a mere 70 percentile in my first attempt. Uh, okay. So uh, then I uh, consulted one of my friends. She's an I am Koi Core right now, and she recommended me CrackU. Uh, she had prepared through CrackU, and she got in through her first attempt. So in January 2021. I took subscription for Crack U, the full course. So in my first attempt, I did not take any uh, coaching, formal coaching, and uh, decided to go through books only. But that didn't turn out well for me. I mean, uh, I was not able to. I didn't have the discipline to watch lectures or uh, give mocks timely, or not did I have any mentorship or uh, who would you know give me. Guidance through how to prepare through the months from January to the right. November, and uh, that didn't uh, help me very much. So uh, later I realized that I need a structured approach, and so I think I decided to go for uh, CrackU, uh, the full package. And uh, in that, uh, the first lecture we had, uh, they had given a complete plan about how to go about in the next few months, and uh, I followed that, and uh, yeah, it turned out very well. Okay, that's great. So uh, you're a working professional, and you've been working for the past four years. So uh, how did you manage your CAT preparation alongside the work? Uh, so my job, uh, it's an exhausting job. I move out of home at eight, okay. and you know, return at seven, seven thirty, and then I barely get two hours to prepare. So these were the only two hours at night that uh, I could manage every day, uh, and I had weekends where I could uh, weekends as in just only Sunday where I could prepare. so i had to be extremely disciplined uh, every day i you know i could not just go to sleep right after i come to work so uh, what i did was during the weekdays i watched lectures uh, and uh, prepared for the questions and solved questionnaires okay. on the weekends uh, uh, during office hours what i did was i took print outs of uh, questions or previous year papers that i always kept with me whenever i got any like a half hour slot or a one hour slot i would go through those questions i would read rcs and uh, i was al- always having my phone with me so i uh, you know access through aon essays and other essays which helped me through vrc uh, there are okay. these uh, minor uh, schedule uh, minor time slots that i took out of job to read 
to these articles. Other than that, right. I could not prepare for DILR and uh, quant during my work hours. It was only BARC that I could do. Uh, and at night, I watched lectures right. and prepared for the other two sections. Okay, so you spent around two uh, two hours per day during the weekdays, right? It was not always possible to spend two hours. So some days yeah, it was just great. one hour. Some days I could only manage only half hour to just watch half a lecture. Hour. Some days I did it during right. transit and at home I could not even watch because I was so tired. So I had right. to manage through transit or just one or two hours. It was on an right. average, I would say it was just one hour every day per week. Okay, just one hour every day, right? That's right. Okay. Okay, so now let's talk about your CAD preparation in detail. Uh, so can you tell us how did you prepare? How did you plan out the entire schedule and how did you prepare for each section? So my attempt from CAD 2020, I realized that I am extremely bad at uh, DILR. I was not able to solve yeah. one uh, DILR set. And uh, VARC, I was confident that I could solve, I could attempt all the questions, but my accuracy level was very low. And for quant, okay. I was confident that if I solve enough uh, questions, uh, I'll be able to manage a decent score. So my, uh, so when I started preparation in January 2021, I decided that for the next five six months I'll be going through concept lectures. And for those five six months, I only went through concept lectures and solved the questions. I did not take up any sectional mock or full length okay. mock during these months. Uh, so my, uh, my primary target was DILR. And uh, I, apart from watching, uh, you know, lecture videos, concept videos, I started solving Sudoku. I started playing chess. Those things I think helped with my aptitude. And uh, I okay. was, I could see an improvement through these months that I, I'm now able to solve uh, uh, at least two to three sets during the given time limit. Uh, so yeah, I definitely saw an improvement uh, through DILR. Uh, through persistence that is the only thing i right. solved questions as much as possible for varc uh, so i watched a video by sali ma'am and she said that she gave one tip which i still use today uh, she mentioned that uh, i should make one single line uh, summary of each paragraph so i was not able to comprehend the whole paragraph as a whole so i tried to break it down by paragraph i used to note down a uh, summary in just one line for each paragraph and right. that way i had i could comprehend the whole paragraph in a given time limit uh my accuracy improved over uh, these months in vrc as well i was already able to attempt all the questions so uh, by improving accuracy i was able to score much better uh, i have improved a lot uh, so in cat 2020 i had scored only like 50 percentile and this year i was right. able to improve okay. it to 99.7 seven right or quant uh, regular uh, practice of questions yeah okay right um mm -hmm. okay so is there any section that's particularly very challenging for you and how did you deal with that section uh, i would say dilr uh, so earlier uh, only the circular arrangement type of questions i was able to solve uh, other than that i was not able to move past you know the uh, plethora of information that the cat gives or the question gives uh, okay. So I started with the Einstein arrangement questions and uh, that was one of the difficult parts, you know, if there are three sets of information given. So it was only through practice. I think I got in through those uh, questions. Later, uh, I, uh, you know, the quant based uh, DILR sets, those were uh, comparatively easier as I got in through quant sections as well. So DILR, I think, helped me. Uh, improve my CAT score and uh, I think okay that is something I worked on a lot <clears throat> so, uh, so the monthly schedule I followed was for the last three months for the earlier six to seven months I had only watched uh, concept videos I think concept was, videos okay I think yeah. okay so uh, how many mocks did you take and uh, what was your analyzing strategy mock analyzing strategy uh, so, like I said, I had uh, watched concept videos by August, and so okay. by this month, I was not really uh, confident that my preparation is going well. And uh, so, uh, there, uh, CrackQ started a live series where they would start, uh, yeah, right. have YouTube live videos, right? 
So in that, uh, I think uh, Maruti sir said that this is the right time to start for sectional mocks, and that's when I did uh, start my with my sectional mocks. So for October until October, I had not given any full length mock, and uh, for September to October, I gave only sectional mocks. So there are like 15 sectional mocks given by Kriti for each section. So I went through all those sectional mocks. I uh, I was doing very well in uh, VARC by now, but DIL I st- I was still struggling. Uh, sometimes okay. I could only solve one. Sometimes at the very best I could solve two. Uh, so again I went back to sectional videos, watched some concept videos, and uh, you know improved. So by October I was still not confident that I would be able to make it uh, through the third uh, DIL section in the actual right, right, right. Yeah. So this was my. a uh, sectional preparation that i did in september to october and then uh, i started with full length mocks so for the last four weeks in november i gave okay. uh, uh, two mocks on the weekends saturday and sunday and for the last week uh, just before the cat week uh, i gave a mock full length mock every day from monday to saturday i gave oh, a full length okay. mock every day even on the sunday of the cat day uh, my slot was in the evening slot and in morning i gave one mock full length mock You gave a mock in the morning. Okay, in the morning. I gave a mock in the morning. Uh, so Maruti sir, uh, uh, I think one week before, he again took a live video, and uh, he mentioned that you can give a mock if you are confident that you will not let it bother you much. And I was uh, confident that I will not let it bother me. In fact, I scored well in the mock that morning as well and in the evening also. All right. Now, can you tell us what was that uh, most important thing that actually helped you improve your scores in CAT? If you had to pick up one most important thing, what would it be? I think uh, so. Lo- a lot of students, you know, they prepare a lot. They have confidence in their preparation, but they don't go through mocks. And it is important okay. to you know build a mindset uh, for the D day that you'll not be bothered by. the questions so when you sit down for those two hours you need to be in the mindset that just because of one question you'll not be thrown off your uh, preparation right. so it's important to give as many mocks as possible and uh, it is very important that you don't get anxious on the final day you need to Something maintain your right. composure on the final day yeah. right important right. perfect finally what is the advice that you would like to give the future cat aspirants i would say so from my personal experience a lot of students you know they end up underestimating themselves that uh, you know these guys are from iits or nits or uh, from as a uh, from great backgrounds and uh, how would i compete with them so it's cat is not about competing with uh, you know already people who are good at aptitude you can develop that aptitude throughout the year and that is the biggest part do not underestimate yourself so even if you are a reserve category student So I am myself one uh, of uh, from a reserve category, and I was able to score this uh, 99.48 percentile. And I think everyone can. I was not very good at quant or VARC uh, just one year ago, and throughout the preparation I could do that. So do not underestimate yourself. Just go in through the preparation, and you'll be doing great. Okay, that's brilliant. Uh, thanks a lot, Pranjal. You gave some very valuable tips. I'm sure it helps a lot of aspirants. Thank you so much for joining us today, and uh, all the best for your interview preparation. Uh, yeah. So yeah, as uh, towards the end, I think I would like to say thank you to Sally Ma'am and Maruti sir, uh, especially their live series that started uh, during the last two to three months. So I was not getting any live interaction with uh, the candidates or uh, the my. teachers uh, that helped me a lot uh, you know it was a live competing uh, thing that they had put up online uh, when those videos were ongoing so that also you know motivated me throughout the last months of prep and i must say a okay. uh, thank you to crack you and all the team okay. yeah thank you thank you so much and uh, all the very best for your uh, interview preparation yeah thank you